yo what is good guys this is Azizel the Demonic and today in this video I'm going to be playing Dungeon Rush Evolved um, there is two versions of this um, game uh, Dungeon Rush and Dungeon Rush Evolved I have absolutely no idea what is the difference between either of them um, they are pretty much identical but there we go um, to all my heroes of comic Camelot, Camelot, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Leon. To all my heroes of Camelot, friends, players, and all the rest of it, this is the game that I was talking about in my last Heroes of Camelot video. I love this game. Um, it's not to everybody's taste. Um, there's a couple of people that I've told, you know, told about to, and um, some of them liked it, some of them didn't. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through um, so you get to see what this game is about. Um, it's in the same vein as Heroes of Camelot. Um, why don't I just get on with it and actually just show you. So basically you have your campaign mode, um, which basically I'm currently auto farming at the minute. Um, which basically you get... Um, items like um, you know helmets, swords, boots, um, a, uh, like pendants, um, rings, and things like that, and you use those things to gear up your um, your your players basically. Your uh... but what I'll do is I'll show you and I'll run through what the type of thing is. Now these are if you will the most desirable cards which are the champion cards and I've got two of them I've been playing this game for probably about six months now maybe maybe a little bit longer and basically the object of the game is basically you know to get as many cards as you possibly can um, and when I say cards they, they aren't really cards they're just the figures basically but what I'll show you is this is like the bog standard summons so i've saved up absolutely shed load of the basic summons as you can see we've got 156 of them uh then you've got your heroic summons which you use gems for or heroic scrolls and then you've got champion summons which you use your actual gems for um every time you use a heroic or um, a champion summons you get these things up here those little ruin things and um, Basically, you can purchase more more characters. Basically, um, now there, I mean, again, there is an absolutely shed load of content to get through. Um, so, what you do, we'll just use Cerebus as an example. Um, you know, this is the um, the gear that you um, you put on your characters uh, they all have individual different buffs and as you can see like just just for example we'll use the sword the sword is 992 attack 12 percent critical 50 percent increased damage 600 true damage and then obviously if the suit can be combined with other parts of the same suit you get extra buffs and things like that then you have things um called jades which uh basically they just add more stats onto your character the higher the jed obviously the higher um you know the higher stats that your character will have now this has just been introduced yesterday uh this is a brand new um feature um and basically you can use your other characters to infuse into another one if that makes sense so you know these you know these are all playable characters that i've got so if i was to remove it as you can see he's he's right there so let's put him back in and you basically go through <coughs> um different um if you will like quests throughout um the actual game um now as you can see i'm currently auto farming at the minute which i love the idea of um auto farming um you don't really have to do much um and you get more items now these are all the things that i've done um and i'm currently here 
but I am currently stuck. I've probably come in at the wrong time to give you a good example of what this game is like, because once you've got so far, see I'm clicking on the middle one now, you can't go back, it is just a straight progression. But we'll give you an example of what the game looks like. So this is the bog standard campaign mode. So this is the dude I've got to beat. Obviously, you've got two. Oops, you've got two. Um, um, for, I don't even know what you'd call them. Those, the two um, little, little yellow lines at the bottom of each um, character's profile. As you can see, every time it hits, it adds one. Um, and then once you get to the third attempt, once the two yellow lines, so watch the, the demon dude on the right, he's going to activate, that's his special move. So every time you get to that point, it unleashes a special move. Now, like I say, you know, my cards, I mean, they're not, they're not the best. Um, those two that are remaining, the, um, they are the best ones that I have so far. <clears throat> um, but even now, I've got to the extent where I'm really, really struggling and I need some new some new cards um obviously i'm gonna die on this one defeated so that's the campaign mode now obviously um i can't go any further so i can you know um do some auto farming and hopefully get some decent drops now just have a look in this thing so after auto farming you get the chance to batch sell so basically um all the ones that are that you don't want to use or legendary is basically the stuff that you want you want legendary stuff so we'll sell that get some coins for it so for example these uh the you know the equipment then you've got your souls the little dragon things that i'm pointing at here um there to enhance the um the, the hero, you know what I mean, as it's saying, to level them up, um, and then that is for their, to evolve their special skills, and each one has a special skill, and we'll go into guys so you can see, so obviously you've got different fractions, you've got the evil fraction, bastion fraction, the chaos fraction, forest fraction, dark fraction, and the light fraction, dark and light are the hardest ones to get, um, they're very difficult, um so you know as you can see there is quite a lot the highlighted ones are obviously the ones that i do have <coughs> um yeah so you know if we click like for example um i don't know we'll just go on whoever here so like we'll go on uh dantillion um you know this is what he does so that is the buffs that they have as you can see so the purple the four purple um, indicators um, at the top of his description those is his evolution so basically the first one would activate that second one would activate that third and so you know so forth and where it says max is obviously the um, the amount of actual statistical points you use by using the dragons to uh, increase the stats. Um, and yeah, and then once you do that, you obviously use it's like enhancing. They've just called it devour. So for example, like I could use uh, like I'm currently doing this guy at the minute. Um, click on the skeleton dude he goes in devour and it will increase the little green bar at the top um, yeah and then once you do that so go back into there you've got the upgrade which basically so for example I could do this guy if I'm clicking on the grade the, the one that's grade uh, I don't have him but then for example so I would put him in there uh, whichever ones you want to sacrifice and say that and then obviously if I had that guy I'd do it I'm clicking on upgrade so I've got to you know place the other hero so I don't have him but the the center picture is the one that that guy would evolve into if you get my if you understand my meaning 
um, you basically you have a blacksmith uh, which you use um, little crystals to um, enhance so for example this is one of the things so enhance and it increases up to five star now I can't enhance anymore because I haven't got any more coins uh, that's the jade where you evolve your jades so for example you need three of level three to increase and it would turn it into a level four jade then you've got forge which you get scrolls for different types of armor so you would put that in and then you've got ore which is like the yellowy crystally rock thing and obviously if you had enough money then you click forge but obviously i need more coins and it would give you that or whichever one you put in then you've got breakdown so basically you will put your gear into there break it down i'm not going to do it because um i want to keep those things um, and it would give you more of that yellow or now if you have stars on the thing that you want to break down it will also uh, give you the purple crystals to enchant as well well that's only if you've got stars on there so uh, yeah and then you've got the arena um which is the bog standard um, arena which is the crystal crown league which is basically just like a normal arena where you fight every player that is currently in your world um every now and again sorry came out of it you uh, they will put on the trial of champions and the inland world cup which is basically the same principle but you get to win the cards as you can see that are uh, currently um up for grabs there uh, then you've got the Tower of Oblivion. Now, um, I've just shot up from uh, 51 all the way up to 56, which doesn't sound like much, but I will show you exactly just how difficult this has got. Um, it's absolutely insanely hard. Um, now, like I said, those two champion ones on the right side, the bottom uh, right of my deck, um, are like as far as you can go the best cards as far as the class is concerned and it's basically barely touching these guys so i need to get more of the yellow champions so evolving more of the cards because these guys are just impossible to beat um it's it's pretty much impossible for me to explain through every character uh that there is you you know if, if it looks like the type of game that you'd get into then obviously get onto it and uh, check it out but yeah that ain't happening so um you've also got a casino um and obviously you've got the usual um you've got the usual um if you will for want of a better word um sort of option to get more things these are the souls there's usually one dude um available uh you can get you get you also get a, uh, a vip status which obviously if you buy crystals then it increases vip status and so on and so forth uh the 10 times thing that you can see at the um in the middle bottom uh that unlocks at uh, vip3 i think or vip4 I, I can't remember which one it is but it unlocks that so the only one that would be available to a new starter is the one time spin uh but we'll just do this um that is the times eight so that is what becomes available to you and obviously at the bottom left you can refresh and it changes up the uh, the things but pretty much it's usually jades coins arena tickets or uh scrolls and a legendary soul and a champion um no sorry a rare soul and a legendary so that becomes available and you've got store which basically the more you do the more you get so let's just refresh see if there's anything worth getting no and I'm trying to think what else uh, right okay so you've got brave trial now i've already done this it's currently closed at the minute this comes about like every something like every day to 36 hours something like that um where you oh, sorry where you basically just go through you battle the further along you get the better prizes you get now you've got this which is currently on at the moment uh, the elemental warding where you get the opportunity to get more souls so for example that dude's up for grabs that dude's up for grabs but shards of it you have to collect 10 to get the actual character 
that is a legendary hero soul so if you collect 10 of them you get a random dude they're really good and then epic hero soul which is the same thing but it's um, for one of the epic heroes and you combine certain ones and you can get the godly ones which uh, i say godly sorry i'm stuck in heroes of camelot to camelot why can't i say that properly heroes of camelot terminology uh but you can get uh, the champions um so like for example like i've got one of him i could put him in uh he's uh what's that oh he's in a ray no he's not where is he I don't know but anyway so you get more and you can consume him and I've got one of him so for example I put him in and him in I think I've got 38 which means I need 40 so 10 there 10 there 10 there and 10 there um, but yeah so you know you, you get the the idea of what's going on um, so there's absolutely plenty of uh, content so we'll, we'll summon a couple of, uh, we'll go on the basic summons, um, and you get to see, so, now this is only doing it because I've got absolutely loads, usually if you've got less than 10 it will just pop up, uh, but obviously these cards are rubbish, you know, they're, they're really bad, um, I'll see if I can get a heroic summons, uh, let's just refresh, no, Okay, I'm using gems to refresh. Now, obviously, I've got quite a few, so it doesn't matter, but... No, there's definitely no heroic summon scrolls because I've, I've used them up this morning. The tavern is basically like everyday quests. So after six hours, the top six hours and 18 minutes, I would get those rewards. Um, what we'll do, just so you can see, um, we'll do a heroic summon uh, using the gems. Usually in the market, the, the heroic scrolls cost 30 gems, so it's obviously better to hold it to get them. Um, but just for just so I can show you guys, we'll do one. So, no, that, that sucks, <laughs> basically. But you see those little 18, uh, that little plus 18 that happened, that contributes towards that score, which obviously if you get a certain amount, you can buy. Um, I could technically get this guy, because I don't actually have him, but I'm holding out for um basically other ones um i'm not going to be able to get to him before the timer runs out that's just not going to happen i've already got her i've had him um and i used him to transform uh cerebus uh, him into cerebus um so yeah <laughs> so there we go and uh, is there anything else i have not showed you Oh yeah, and then you get your hero training, which obviously you just, you know, just increases their experience. And that is it, guys. Then you get a thing every now and again. Uh, you get this, which is feats basically just for completing things throughout the game. You've obviously got your standard mail. I haven't got any mail. Nobody loves me. Uh, and then your quests for doing certain things. So, for example use hand of midas two times which basically means to go up here use some gems to increase your coinage so as you can see now that's come up claim casino and uh, and magic crystals so there we are guys um i don't think oh deathland as well sorry that is basically oh it's on oh okie dokie i can i didn't even realize Okay, let me, uh, might as well do this while it's on. So basically that's what it is. And you just go hell for leather, kicking the crap out of this dude. It'd be random, you know, it'd be a random sort of boss every now and again. Um, and the, the, the more you cause damage, the more coins uh, you get and then eventually once the round is over uh, you know the entire sort of if you will a little event um, you get you get jades depending which jade is on offer now obviously I didn't look uh, but once it's done uh, we'll go back and have a look what's actually up for grabs uh, you get 10 attempts um, and you just basically keep going as best you can uh, to the best of ability of your characters that you have so yeah 
and obviously it's gonna take a bit of time whooping this dude's ass <clears throat> excuse me so yeah I'm hoping um, again I'm hoping to uh, get a new uh, sort of a new fan base with uh, you know the Dungeon Rush players um, you know if you guys haven't played Heroes of Camelot go and check it out and for all the Heroes of Camelot players go and check uh, this game out so as you can see so so as you can see 9 out of 10 attempts remaining this is what's up for grabs so we've got a critical um, increase and we've got an armor increase jades so as you can see um, you know depending on your ranking is depending on what you get and that's it and then obviously there's um, there's a list of the actual ranking so I'm 31st after the first attempt well there we go so that is it people not much else I can really show you obviously if things start to happen um, again I'll you know tomorrow I'll maybe do one uh, where I get some more heroic summons and hopefully we can get a good drop but there we are so without further ado thank you for liking thank you for watching thank you for subscribing god bless your faces see you soon peace out <laughs>